Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Assassin's Creed playthrough, our entire Assassin's Creed a thon. Mainly because my brain was having just absolute hemorrhages over wondering hmm, do I want to play Tunic? Do I want to continue and finish off a Dead Dear Cyber Sleuth Digimon game? And uh, my brain couldn't really get its act together, so I decided, hey, let's go for the simple option. Continuing with Assassin's Creed Revelation, 1511 to 1514. Mainly because it's just a safer option. It's nice, quick. <laughs> because uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth and Tunic both require just a slight bit of, like, extra things that I need to do. And uh, for some reason, oh yeah, for Cyber Sleuth, I have to actually upload it to the YouTube channel. And Brain is very specific and mean. Whereas Tunic, uh, I have to follow guides to find the super duper hidden things and then try to figure out the puzzles myself because I'd like to finish off Tunic in at least two streams, but more preferably one. But Tunic is just a game of secrets. <laughs> so yeah, just things go into things go into things, but luckily we have revelations to dive into. The finale to Ezio's experiences. Supposedly, I wouldn't be that surprised if they somehow brought Ezio back. Like, I don't know, as a hologram. Then again, I think they go weird places with the modern story past a certain point. So, one way or another, let's uh, get a go with Assassin's Creed Revelation. Show. Of which we I'm going to be careful and not touch anything, even though I would like to be able to go, hey, revelations, I would like to be able to edit my sound options. And then the game will go, oh, you want to edit your sound options straight from the go? And then it'll just go say, no, you can't do that. Because I, I, I don't really like games that are like that. No, you don't get to do anything. Opening of game comes very important, yes. The Lost Archive. I don't know what that is. I think that might be... Ah, oh, we actually get to edit these here. If I remember correctly... That's a good selection. But I think this is a DLC thing, but I'm not sure when the game wants you to, like, jump in and do it. So we'll just do the story mode. My favorite. Th that is one thing that I kind of don't really like PlayStation for, is that they shoo... S they're stupid UI in so much. They don't, like, this makes sense, but they also do it for, like, saving and manual save games. I don't like it. We can keep him like this for a few days, maybe a week. We can make him a vegetable. As soon as we're clear. Yeah, because last time, we shanked Lucy for some reason. so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You went through You're many assassin. different years of memories. Of you killed people. Lucy. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. And the Statue of Liberty. Not like those Templars. Cold, calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. Our level best. Yeah. Doing our best. <laughs> all of our best. But you remember all this. Right? You've lived you it. Remember the Animus, the machine we use to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? Animus version 1.28, apparently. A stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Then, you are Ezio Auditore. For two games. Wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right. The apple. <laughs> That strange artifact left behind by those people. We don't know who they are. Came before. 
You know the apple's power. You felt it for yourself. Then the power stabbed. <laughs> oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented, falling to pieces. Oh, that's if fun. You find a way to wake up. You may lose yourself forever. Oh, that's interesting. They superimposed a glitchy okay, Ezio into Altair's time. Kind of like how in like the trailer. Wait. This guy, uh, I forget his name. Played Q in Star Trek. Discord in My Little Pony. Definitely him. Nobody has a voice like him. He has a very distinct voice. But yeah, uh, superimposed Ezio, kind of like in the Revelations trailer, where it was a spiritual Altair. Which, you know, doesn't really make much sense exactly. if you think about it. I can't move. I, I can't also, I find it hilarious that his no. mind is fragmenting, not from the Animus, but from the Apple of Eden. I guess. Maybe it's because... Finally, he touched the apple after Altair and Ezio touched the same, or at least similar apples. So now his brain is like, ah. Also, his uh, jacket is different. Hello? Is that what he mentally thinks of his jacket? My jacket isn't white, my jacket is gray. Also, very Halo-y. Technically, you no, didn't walk past you because you didn't me. exist yet. Oh, God damn it, I'm still in the Animus? Well, well they plugged you back in. Rebecca, get me out of here. They can't help you. Do also, I kind of like 16's design. Man. Your mind is broken. Broken. So far. So far. Hey. So he's a super animus man. Also, why does Desmond look older now? Like, his model, like, I don't know. His face seems longer. Walk with me. What is this place? It's nice, isn't it? Oh, we can take control. And then we can just let him let it go and it'll go auto. Cool. Hello, world. You're lucky someone up there had the sense to plug you in here. Saved your life. Saved it from what? Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. Harsh. Now, the animus is keeping you intact. Keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. Oh, yes. So all two of my ancestors nexus, that I've experienced. All personalities will smash together. A sync nexus? A sync nexus? What's that? I'm getting there. Hold on. Yeah, because I do not remember much about Revelations. Yeah. I remember even less than Brotherhood. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. <laughs> Here's the problem. Maybe a little bit. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You purge them. You claw your way back into the stored data. You find unfinished memories and you crack them open. You finish all the memories. You finish what you started until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. Huh. That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, the Animus can separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because he lived it. To me. And then he died. But my body, it's where I'm food now. So I'm stuck here. And you wormed your way into my head, so whether that'll make you. When you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels normal. That is one thing. You are uh, still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. Harsh. Then he remembers. Ah. I did ah. the thing. I thought you knew. Lucy. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. It wasn't me. Was your body, though? It wasn't me. It's that voice. Juno. She took hold of me. She made me. But yeah, what does that make 16 in all of this? Is he only in the Animus, or is he in me? But yeah, again, Desmond looks ever so slightly different. So...
Uh, I wonder if they just made this... Oh, no. Oh, no. These are doorways. Oh. Sean, what's going on? Let me talk to him. Did you... Hold on. I'm putting you on speaker. Uh... Sean, it's William. Is everything taken care of? Oh, well, hello to you, too. For Christ's sakes, man, have some class. I'll wait. Right, calm down. Oh, that's rich. Yeah, Lucy's dead, and you want me to act like it's Easter Sunday, do you? How's Desmond? Because I wonder what this even will do. Where this will take me. Desmond's too special. You would say that. Sean. Well, I wonder what this is. Are you sure you want to begin Desmond's journey? I don't know what that is. I don't know what a Desmond's journey is. I'll probably have to look that up. It'll probably give me another. Yeah, Desmond's journey. Alright. I don't know what a Desmond's journey is. DLC side thingy, I don't know. Well, let's go through and change everything, I guess. But yeah, again, does this technically make 16 a voice in my head? Make him a technical ancestor by the Animus's logic? And we'll have to... I don't know. Kill him. All of the Ubisofts. They came together like a Megazord to make this game. Oh yeah, I just remembered. Dear God, I hope this game uh, did away did, did, did away with the evils of the 100% uh, synchronization. Because, uh, boy howdy, did I hate that. I hate that. Hate it a lot. Granted, it could just be me, but... Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Acre a week now, safe. And so we set up that he is in the Holy Land, the men and where Altair was. Sheltered me here. Also, give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. And then I guess we'll slowly it's unravel me. why he's I come here. Yes. When I first set out from Roma ten months ago, I did so with a Oh yeah, because. He so went to... That was what the, uh... In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the Maybe. stones of Castle. Did they Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, like, end story. with Ezio going like, I'm gonna ride out on a boat somewhere? I know boats were what mentioned somewhere. When I arrive there, who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. This cinematic was is super good as a a trailer, especially with the uh the song by Woodkid Iron, I believe. Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only, towards chaos. Today I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far. And again, I wonder what this clarity. this means. Find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. Is it symbolic? So that I may better understand. Does he actually the see the ghost of Altair? Did he step into an ancient animus? <laughs> that would be hilarious, considering that Assassin's Creed One established that Abstergo to me, only to repurposes stay, ancient tech. My ambition lead me astray. Not seek retribution or revenge, it would be very interesting if somebody used an animus to relive an ancestor's memories who then used an animus. Kind of pointless because it's still the same genetic memory, but I'd find it funny. And the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. And yeah, I completely forget how Ezio's story actually ends. Killed the Baldman. Who even is he? You'd think that would have broke his neck. <laughs> and man, Ezio is superhuman. He survived that. Are we gonna begin here? Because... That would be kind of silly. We don't know how we got here. Why? Well, I guess we got here on a boat, but still.
Where do we begin? Yeah, we're just right after that. All right, sure. Then I guess, uh... We'll follow the spirit of... At the Altair. I don't even know who you are. Oh, secondary weapons. Interesting. But currently, I have nothing. Do I even have a sword? I do have a sword. And I now... Use your fists. Uh, I found my sword. Thank you very much. I don't even know who you are. Damn this blizzard. It could be anywhere. Also, didn't know that a place like Masayaf could get snow. It's not even global warming for them yet. Oh, I guess they did take all my stuff. And one's broken. Wasn't it the other one in the cinematic? Oh well. My brain's probably messed up anyway. But alrighty. You can practice tutorials. Interesting. Oh. Okay, that guy got a cheap shot in. Oh, great. There's optional objectives. My favorite. Luckily, that one... Oh, that, that was cruel, Ezio. Oh, that one was brutal. He stabbed that guy and then let the guy's own body weight... Uh, throw him off the sword. Cruel, cruel, cruel boy. One second, there's a smudge on my screen and it's driving me insane. But, yeah, apparently there are bonus objectives. Let's take a look-see. Yep, full synchronization. On the one hand, oh no, they're back. On the other hand, it's a kill a Byzantine Templar with a counter kill. So maybe they're nice and easy. <laughs> Return to Animus Island. That, that the, the, the name amuses me. Animus Island. We follow the ghost. Is he diegetic? Do we even know? I don't even know why they have to... That's not what I wanted, Gabe. That is not what I wanted at all. And once again, holding up and game goes down. Just don't really know why the game has to take control of the camera away in this situation. When there is already a clear navigator throwing us around. Nice architecture though. And again, I, I want to know what's going through Ezio's head right now. And remember, I can, if I hold no, like, uh, directionals on the, on the da-da-da-da, I can then just press jump to jump backwards immediately. Something that I learned, I think, very late into Assassin's Creed uh, 2, uh, uh, yeah, maybe Assassin's Creed 2. Or maybe I only learned it, like, part way through Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Goodbye, friend. Also, I do find it funny. <laughs> That's actually a neat detail. That that used to be full when, Etz uh, when Altair existed. So, it's neat to them uh, to kind of acknowledge that. Oh, hey, what? I thought that he had to earn it in this situation. But we can leap. Neat. Lead me, Altair. Are we gonna push the eagle? <laughs> I don't know why he walked here. If I'm... Oh, are we not gonna push the eagle? I thought it would be funny. So we are. <laughs> push eagle! <laughs> you don't even know where you... Did you know that, Ezio? Did you know that there was going to be water underneath that? <laughs> Hello, friend. I am the the nightmares. 
Goodbye, friend. The nightmares have killed you. I don't think Ezio knew that that water was going to be underneath. But sure, game. And also, I was going to say, maybe the reason that Desmond looks, like, uh, so different is that... Poison darts. Throwing knives. Air assassinate. Ah, that's how that works. Cool, it's a one-hit kill. Neat that they're, like... St I really like this addition, the streamlining with the sub-weapon. I find that really nice. Who even are you, little man? Small boy with beard. Please, I am a working man with a family. Doing what kind of work? Oh yeah, but I think I got distracted again. Ezio's face is uh, different, more elongated from age, maybe. So maybe Desmond's face was warped to match it. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. I doubt you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Oh, do you mean gemstone? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. There are keyholes here. Where are the keys? These Templars found one beneath the Ottoman Sultan's palace. As for the others, I suppose the little book will tell them. What book? A journal of some kind. That ugly captain... <laughs> ugly captain waves hand in front of books. face. Go home. Find work with honest men. Oh, I would love to leave this place. But these men, they will murder me if I try. I'll kill them all for you. Full synchronization. Do not fail a single tail. Does that mean a run? Because, oh, no. A mysterious journal has brought the Templars to Masief. Find the Templar captain and recover it. Do not fail a single tail. What does that mean? I guess we will learn. And I fear that. I fear it deeply. Because it is also a fail state again. I don't like fail state ones. I myself, I prefer ones that are like, hey, do this optional thing. Like, get a counter kill. Rather than, if you fail, fuck you. I don't like those ones. Is it going to be a chase or is it going to be stealth? Find Templar Captain and retrieve his diddly D. Hmm. Do not fail a single tail. Let's do it. Die. I just realized I don't think I ever used a parachute in the last game. Who do you think I am? Guy who's not in uniform, walking towards you. I do like the slow-mo on the final kill. Ever so slightly. Ah, I guess, uh, we climb more. Climb ever more. At least it's not stealth so far, but do not fail a single tail. Uh, how do I do that?
I can assassinate guards below me if I so choose. But they're going too fast. So do I need to kill that guy? Kill at least one. To his destination. So I guess that means, hey, don't, like, uh, fuck up the tailing missions. Hopefully they don't, like, turn around. Interesting that, like, the town of Masayaf still exists. And then I guess maybe... The Templars took over? And let me read the objective again, just to be sure. The Templars are gathering in the village. Tail at least one. Do not fail a single tail. So I assume that means... Do not let a single Templar notice you. You are a very loud eagle. Or bird, or whatever you are. So yeah, I'm going to assume it's just, hey, don't let them see you, don't lose them, and don't kill them before their time. Please be ungodly simple. I mean, it's the beginning of the game, so it should be, but still, I have PTSD. What? Did it say failed? No, I don't think it did. It popped up, it went very quickly, and I got a heart attack. I know I shouldn't care about it too much. I just had a small bit of fear. Those were not kill shots. Maybe it's because fail is in the wording of the challenge, so when it popped up quickly, my brain just honed in on fail. And, uh, much pain existed. He's behind them. There, you see him? <laughs> I don't think that we've gotten a new mission yet, so... Yeah, current objective, hold on, no synchronization bonus. Damn. Die, you All right, I that. Ezio giving running commentary. Ow. Out. Yeah, rocks really shouldn't kill me after all I've been through. All me, Ezio. Motherfucker. This is kind of, kind of silly. The super assassin is uh, climbing a rope that is on the ground. Epic music playing, though. I kind of get not wanting to use your legs in any of this, because... Run all you want, I am right behind you eternally. You keep trying to blind me. You cannot blind me at all, for I am behind you. Blind yourself, then, little man. Suddenly, carriage. I want to jump to the carriage. <laughs> Go to hell, he killed his friend. Man, he was quick on that cart. And now for cart K cart chase, five billion. Yes, me again. I will run you off the road. I 
I will take you on. Ah, come on. I should take damage <laughs> for him. And now... Come on. Get out of my way. I drive you into the dangers. But man, the... This road is terrible for carts. That really shouldn't have damaged me. Get out of here. My cart is better than your cart. Get into the rough. Why is all the rough on his, my side? This seems unfair. It also did the thing again of, we're gonna ram you into a... That's very unfair, game. All of the rough is on my side. For that. <laughs> Thank God that it, there isn't any special objective for this, but that is very bad. That is just bad design. It's supposed to be, hey... There's some on your side, don't let them get to you. Some on your side. Don't let them, oh, maybe I'm supposed to concede. So, okay, that's terrible camera. If you're going to expect me to like, oh, fight the enemy that way, you need to be fair game. Why is it only rough on my side? Game! And the game is forcing me into the rough. Please, game. Once again, rough only on my side. Who designed this? It's the opening. Dude. Common sense say, hey, equal opportunity for damage and dealing damage. Why the fuck is it only for him to not take damage, apparently? That is just terrible design. I swear. That's like the only time that we can damage him with rough. And again, the camera when conceding territory a little bit is uh, uh, terrible. I hate this. <laughs> this is honestly bad. Because again, he has no damaging rough on his side, and then if you like do this, the game's like, ah, fucky camera. I just, I don't find this fun. Because it's not being fair. It just seems very odd to be designed like that. Sure, they're like, oh, you're not meant to kill him there. Then why do you put so much rough on my side? It's just not fun to be like, ah, deal damage. That the game taught me to deal damage. Only for the game to then be like, only you take damage now. Because if he's not meant to be damaged there, just don't put that much rough patches. Then again, it seemed like he had enough health that even if you pushed him through constant rough patch, he probably wouldn't have died anyway, so... Why was it designed like that? Just feels very, very odd. And is not a welcome opening. Even our allies. We kill them all. Well, well. Look what crawled out of its hole to die. He's at death's door. Finish him off. Why don't you do it? Bring me his head, or throw yourselves into the canyon. He's at death's door. By the way, I'm not going to do this. Kill at least five guards from a haystack. See, that's the kind of ones I like to see.
I like to see ones that aren't fail state. Then again, I don't even know what the like bonus objective rewards will be. Oh wait, it said hold, so I guess I can pick up uh, pickpocket these dead bodies. I was passing them over because earlier it wouldn't let me. Salt of Petra creates light but obvious smoke cloud. Use great smoke bomb decoy. Poison fool. Arabic gunpowder. I got throwing knives and a fuse shell. Do we have any, uh... No, we do not have uh, medicine, it seems. No medicine for Ezio. No cocaine for Ezio. There doesn't seem to be a haystack here. I'll wait for this guy to do his patrol. Goodbye, friend. Give me your body. I must take it all. A pyrite coin. These fake gold coins create a tactical explosive with attract crowds. That's honestly hilarious. Throw a money bomb. This used to be so easy. And now I need to kill five guards from hay bales. There's a hay bale there. Don't mind me. Very familiar. So familiar that you die. Hmm. More foreigners, More foreigners he says. So yeah, they changed uh, how the diddly d works. I'm all for it. Come on. Look at me. Look at me. Follow me to the hay bale. Dang it. Look at me. Yes. Come to the hay bale to die. I'm, pro I'm probably doing this entirely wrong. They're probably going to have more hay bales for me to kill guys from, but... I don't know. I don't know what the game has in store for me. Oh, that's... Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. But now I'm going to search your bodies. Skunk oil. And because I... Well, if he's taking too long, I'll kill him. How dare you? Let's have a good long look here. And now we'll get one more. You fool! And that works for me. Definitely not the way they expect you to do this. But I. But yeah, they definitely changed the way that this works. I dearly hope that there are more guards that I can kill that are on patrol. 
Else it would be very odd. Hmm. I can't even climb because I'm so injured. See, Ezio, you should have brought all your cocaine. So there needs to be another hay bale that I can jump into somewhere. Surely. So I can move in crowds. But my favorite crowd is the hay bale crowd. So they shut down the tailors. How utterly cruel. Don't mind me. I am just... I kind of even fit in for once. Usually Ezio stands out in crowds. And again, very disappointed. No hay bales. But this, again, is probably the tutorial area of hay. You can blend into crowds. So I guess it's also blended in really nicely. Up. Shit. Not so shit. You're a terrible guard. I'm just gonna wait for you to come back around. I thought he was gonna notice me for sure. Join me in the hay bale, friend. And now we'll just lure another guard over so we can finish that. Again, they probably have plenty of hay bales later on, but I'm scared. Come on, you should totally see me. You're an unobserving guard, and for once I hate that. You should totally have been able to see me like that. He has no eyes. Summon your eyes, young man. See me for the assassin that I am. You are utterly infuriating. That's like the second time that a guard has been like on the cusp of noticing me. And then he decided, nah, I don't want to notice the assassin right in front of me. I mean, granted, smart choice for you, because you don't want to die. Oh, and can I, like, lock on no matter the range? I think I can lock on no matter the range. Yeah, they do not care. These guards do not care. But yeah, it allows you to, like, choose a guard. That's a very good upgrade. Because normally... Normally it's kind of difficult. Once again, guard man. <laughs> right on the cusp. Why are you the least, like, suspicious guard ever to exist? In Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, the guards were, like, just pissing themselves to notice me. Notice me, Assassin Senpai. Notice me. Alright, fine. I'll just be closer for your next run through. Notice me, Guard Senpai. There we go. Thank you for noticing me. Thank you for joining me. Now I don't have to worry about the side objective ever again. Don't mind me. I'm standing here. Standing free. Do not take note of the injured man. The injured man is of no note of at all. Then again, why am I worried? He probably wouldn't have been able to notice me if I walked away right with him looking at me. Could it be that you are every bit as deadly as the legends say? 
Well, if I had some medicine, that would be nice. Uh, a little of column A, a little of column B. <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna run in. Kill that dog. Cut him down. It's cat to you. Search the area for medicine. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's brutal, my dude. Little annoying that the enemy flashes uh, don't repeat. If, uh, you're stuck in an animation and they wait to attack you. Now I'm back to full strength. The power of cocaine. Oh, hey, box. Acrobatic ability is recovered. See, I really like that. Hey, maybe these guys will give me bullets. Uh, la why would you have lamb's blood, my dude? But that was a very interesting segment. Uh, game? 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 Game won't let me take control of camera! Okay, now it will. It'll only let me... No, it won't. It's, it just recenters. Game? Quit messing with the camera, for the love of God! Okay, now I have camera back. That was very odd, game. That was very odd. Also, those guys totally would have... They were on the same roof as me! Where did they come from? Hell? They probably came from hell. That was just odd. <laughs> okay. Terrifying. Thank you. Existential horror. But yeah, overall, uh, not a fan of games taking away control of the camera for long periods of time. Because stuff like that can happen. LOL. He is killing his own men to try and kill me. It's not going to work, I assure you. Epic. What does it take to kill you, eh? Why will you not die? Because I'm special. I don't even know who you are. Well, he's dead, and we don't even know who he is! Inky Black Confession Room. The old hound still has a bite. The book you carry, where is it? Ah, Nicolo Polo's journal. This will do you no good. <laughs> he's actually holding it. We have found one of the Masyaf keys already, and are closing in on the in that library is not for you, but for the Templars. Yeah, you can have Altair's books. <laughs> we only want guidance. We only want directions. To the location of the Grand Temple. Grand Temple? Too bad, he did. Tell me more, now. Requiescat in pace, bastardo. He's getting very done with it in his old age. Oh, we can loot him. Best served cold. I want to take him with me, Mama. So, I was kind of right, kind of wrong. This apple. I was right this to... Like, not trust them with the, the, the bays of hail. You really want to be fooling with that thing? I do. I absolutely do. I 
have been waiting a long time to get my hands on one of these. Sounds evil. You're making me nervous, Bill. Don't Bill, me. Bill, Bill, Bill. I don't think I have the right genes to properly wield it. Oh, but Desmond, you think he does? So, oh great. Genetic super thingy. We're entering into the eugenics world. What the hell just happened? You were snooping. Wandering outside the Desmond partition. So once the Animus located you, it pulled you back here. It's just following orders. Like a... A fail-safe program. Trying to keep your poor head intact. Whether you like it or not. What are you doing here exactly? Playing. Learning. Waiting. A lot of waiting. I wonder what he's been playing. The piano. Get the animus distracted as best I can. Or you, so you can explore. Otherwise it might hunt you down like hunt a Hunt me. And, uh, That's disturbing. Me. Well, my guardian angel. There's no such thing. Guardian demon, more like. Yeah, I... Thanks. Definitely guardian demon. Well, I did a quick search, and apparently these are just, like, a side quest, basically. So we might as well try one. Sean, it's me. What's happening? What? Are you at the airport? We will listen. Yeah, we're chartering a jet. Are you coming? Yes, yeah. I'll be there soon. Good. They... they buried her already. I heard. Damn it, we missed the funeral. Outside Rome. Nice place. Oh, God, things got so fucked up so fast. Indeed, Is indeed. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of brain activity, but the monitoring system shut down, we can't record anything. Well, keep it posted, okay? I'll see you soon. So yeah, they just went straight in and be like, yeah, Lucy dead. You don't even get to see the funeral. Well, into side quest. Let's do a little side quest. See what has in store. Why not? Data stream source. Mem archive A, B, C, D, E. Miles Desmond's D-DNA. Incredible. Oh boy. This must be the core of the Animus. First person. No simulations, no environments. I can't even feel my own body. So we're it's a data sperm. Raw data. So, so am I still me or some kind of computer program? We can jump though. So this is Ubisoft Portal. That's what it feels like. Uh, okay, but we can still be hurt. Mean. Rude game. Aha. We go this way instead. Do not fall to death. That would be very bad. Alright, there's a person. I don't like it. Oh no, it's not a person, it's a hand. Well, it's part of a person. Part person. It's a kind of person. So we activated something. We activated a door. I was born here. The farm. Yeah, they called it the farm. Are you really losing yourself that much? A dozen couples, some kids. A community. Hidden away. A uh, super survivalist assassin town. And you thought they were crazy. Small houses in the Black Hills. Right. The clear skies, wood smoke, wind, the stink of gasoline, generators running day and night. Where did they get the gasoline? We live simply, almost like nomads, so far from everything. Ready to pack up and go at the drop of a hat. If we were discovered. If they found us. And now you know who they are. Uh. 
Oh, another hand. My bad. Activate. It's a mouse cursor. Feels very odd. Farm. It wasn't much of one, was it? Motherfucker. Not proper farm. We grew some food. I don't remember. I jumped. How dare you miss? Maybe a few dogs. Yeah. Uh, I highly doubt that I can actually get that. But maybe it wants me to explore. There's a shiny. It's making twinkly you can get this sounds, but I don't think I can. Maybe it's a secret. Hello, Fez Obelisk. Sounds like you're whispering. That's ominous. Oh. We go inside. I was born into it. I didn't choose. It was like a birthright. A birth obligation. You are an assassin, they told me. What did that even mean? You kill people. For fun and profit. Ever since I was young, they never stopped saying it. You are an assassin. You are an assassin. And this is our creed. Kind of like a cult. And then you realize, oh god, the cult that was, was right. True. What did that mean? A world without purpose? No, it's just that there's a bunch of lies in the world. Nothing is true because technically, like, laws, borders, it's all made up. Everything is permitted. Everything is permitted? Yep. Basically, like, forget what you are told is real. Know that anything goes in the wacked world. Everything is true. Well, nothing is true because the world is full of lies and those that wish to abuse the truth. And they will not stop until every one of us is dead. Yeah, I believe for a while. But I never understood. That's the trouble when you're born into something. Belief without understanding. Belief without first-hand experience. Was so serious. Scared, too. All that talk of assassins and Templars. The end of the world. That moment when the Doomsday Cult is actually right. That would never... <laughs> That's how you know this is a piece of fiction. All the shiny sounds. It was a very odd feeling. We go up the shiny triangles. Oh boy, a door! Techno door! Oh, Techno door, reveal thy secrets. Oh no, it's the puzzle! Spawn? Well, everything is permitted. Wait. Uh, I could probably use this to uh, get the, the block. I can use this to get the block. Uh, they blocked it off, didn't they? But I have blocks. Boot, doot, doot. There aren't any blocks of magicalness around there, are they? Maybe there's something hidden over here. Very interesting. Uh, absolutely murders any potential platforming. I don't know why my brain just threw out, hey, Mass Effect. Very had fun with those games. But I don't feel like <laughs> I can stream them again. It's been too long. I can't remember when I stopped believing. When I stopped caring. It's like a religion. I lost my faith, and then God came down and said, You bitch. Is 
so I can turn it off. Interesting. Don't, 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 don't. It all sounded so stupid. I couldn't hear the word Templar without laughing. An assassin? Forget it. Huh. There seems to be stuff down here. Like pathways? We can go up with the the triangles. I'm interested. What's down here? Besides death. Death is always near. Death approaches. Dang it, it's just light. Why have these? You give me the traversal options, and then you're like, how dare you traverse? You traverse to the traverse? How dare? But now there's a shiny Ancient cube. War, they said. An endless struggle. But I never cared. Who knew it was possible to bore a kid with war stories? Well, if it's all you consume. When all you consume is war stories, uh, you're going to grow tired of war stories. It's like salt. I Neat. Guess I was lonely. Alone in a crowd. If I could have told them that, maybe they would have listened. If only I could go back. If I could tell them I'm sorry. You're like, sorry I didn't believe your craziness, and then you just so happened to turn out to be right. Ah, oh, hey, we're back here. But that also means... Other block. Other block, I'm coming for you. You can't escape me, other block. I know you exist now. Good, there's no... door. I knew you'd be a thing. You... sassy... Sue. I have no idea what you are, but you are. And now you are mine. You are now a song... by... What's the name? Disturbed. Neat that the hands are still here. And now we can get out of here. Here I come, Animus. I have the blocks. Nothing. Everything. No! My brain! The early years. So what, is this gonna end up with Desmond dead at the end? I don't feel like you go into this like, Hey, remember your backstory? Up front and center. I think I already got that pack before. Like on the opening title screen of Revelations. Alright. Interesting. But onwards to hell more. More hell. Dear sister, Mazyaf is overrun by a battery of Templars. And their motive is clear. They desire the secrets locked away in Altair's library. Secrets they believe will lead them to something called the Grand Temple. Whether or not this is true, I do know the library. It was is a typo, real. and it's actually the Grand I have Tempo. Seen its door for myself, but none can enter, not without five keys, which were sent to Constantinople with Niccolo Polo almost three hundred years ago. Claudia, I must find these keys. The Templars have already located one, and they do not know how difficult it will be to find the others. Only time, skill, and a bit of luck will tell. Let's be honest, a lot of luck. A lot of luck. 
tons of luck. Super luck, if you will. Constantinople. Now let us experience some revelation. All I ask of you, revelations, is that you be slightly better than Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood combined. Just avoid failure states a bit more, please. A magnificent sight. It is a work in progress. No city in Europa has a skyline quite like this. Well, to be precise, that is Europa. <laughs> that is Asia. Ah, some borders even the Ottomans cannot move. Very few. You are Italian by the sound of it, but your outfit is not. Have you been traveling long? See, si. long, long, long time. time. I left Rome about 12 months ago, looking for inspiration. <laughs> that church brought me here. When I was a child, my father told me stories about the fall of Constantinople. You must mean the conquest of Constantinople. I suppose the moral of any story matches the temper of the man telling it. That we can agree on. Guzel. Constantinople is a city for all kinds and creeds. Ah, what about Things assassin like creeds? Or, uh, travelers such as yourself. And who are you, young man? Will you appear later? You seem you seem neat. Yes, Pong Dot of Loading. The Pong Dot of Loading tells all. I have so much work to return to. But it is good to be home. Work? When I was your age, my interests were... <laughs> were mainly... Salve. Incredible. I am surprised you got anything done. As was my mother. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Bayer Fenwick. I hope you find something to hold your interest in. And may your work be good, young man. I have faith I will. <laughs> Takes a bit of inspiration from the boy. <laughs> a scholar and a gentleman. You are full of surprises. <laughs> Very few, my friend. Exceed all mine. So far, I'm really enjoying. Unless the legend is a lie, you are the man. I Interesting man. Renowned but yeah, the opening so far, aside from the mentor. cart chase, is really cool. It's your auditory. You seem to have some hidden that blades that. there. Franco, uh, forgive me. I have a hard time remembering that Italian gibberish. How dare ah, you? Firenze. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Delala. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, so. By your custom, I would be Yusuf Tazim da Istanbul. I like that. <laughs> Not so much gibberish Istanbul. now, is it? Yet another name for this city. Evet. It's a local favorite. Uh, come, mentor da Firenze. I will show you around. All right, do <laughs> Punch. The game man wants me to punch him. You cannot interact with shops at the moment. That's very specific. Do not wander far from Yusuf. <laughs> Okay, that is a fail state synchronization thing I can accept. Oh, wait, he's gonna be running full tilt, ain't he? <laughs> Master Assassin Yusef Te uh, yeah, Yusef, Yusu. Uh, he said his name and I already forget. Yusuf Tazim has welcomed you to Constantinople and would like to give you the tour. Get to know him and the city. Welcome to Galata District. For centuries, it has been a home to orphans from Europe. Walk and talk. You won't find more diversity anywhere else in the city. And for that reason, assassins make it their home. I would like to see where. Guessing likely. The Brotherhood is always eager to meet the man who put the Borgias out to pasture. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. Does everyone in this city know I'm here already? Well, your holy land tussle with the Templar did not go unnoticed. Bomb stash, bomb agreements are scattered around. Out, violence was so far from my mind. I sought wisdom. The contents of Altair's library. 
<laughs> Not realizing it has been seen. That is a laugh. <laughs> no, I assumed as much. But I never expected to find Templars guarding it. Very troubling, no? Five years ago, Templar influence here was minimal. A small faction with dreams of restoring the Byzantine throne. And then they but got they power. Grew in number, day by day. And with Sultan Bayezid on his way out, they may try something dramatic. And it seems like they're going to be trying something. Not just one, two angry sons. It's a familiar pattern with his Or are you going to be trying something? The Sultan calls. <laughs> the princes draw their swords. So what's going to happen to cause me to chase after you? So as not to get too far away from you. Between the Templars and the Ottomans, you must stay busy. Ezio, I barely have time to polish my blade. Knife. Steady. <laughs> Lol. The guy who wasn't aiming to attack me managed to hit me. So we're going to have Templar versus guards? Neat. Ottoman soldiers have a special loathing for these Byzantine thugs. That gives us some breathing room. How much? Eh, just a little. <laughs> They'll still kill you if you look at them wrong. But they will feel bad about it later. That's funny. It's not so bad, really. For the first time in many decades, the assassins have a strong presence. So what, did I just inspire all of you? Under the Byzantine Emperor, the assassins were hunted down and killed on the spot. Or is it just convenient timing? Ezio goes around, doing his assassin thing. Many, many, many miles away in Constantinople, the assassins are like, Hell yeah! Let's go be assassins! This way, that way, all the way. Yay! 100% synchronization! And into the Assassin's HQ I go. Mentor, say hello to your extended family. Salute a voi, Assassini. It is an honor to find such fast friends so far from home. You see, brothers? Our mentor is not afraid to weep openly from not worry. We'll not make a habit out of it. T Ezio and Tazim I is a funny man. I'd like some of you to do a sweep of the area. Hey, man. I brought Mentor Aditore here. Your weapons and armor are in now get out of here. Let me find someone and repair what you can. There is a blacksmith nearby. He's a friend. One idea. Etsu's equipment is not in good condition. Explore Galata District and upgrade his equipment. So far, aside from the cart chase, this is a nice opening, I must say. Has good story flow, both for Desmond and Ezio. Doesn't feel as wonky as... Uh, Surprise! Sudden diddly dee. Ah, that's guard dots. The orange, y yellow dots, I think, are guards. So, Constantinople, but it's still the same kind of blacksmith. No armor repairs. But I can get a Zop Leather Spalders. Ah, because he's a friend, we get a discount!
them again. I also make a last month the governor of Bonn. Box two But yeah, so far. Things go well. Nice opening. Praise the heavens. We feared we had lost our mentor to the vices of the big city. Eh, there wasn't much to open I to me yet. With my own vices, grazie. So, what's on your mind, Etsy? I must find keys. Tell me more about the Templars. You call them Byzantines. The Byzantine Empire was overthrown 60 years ago. They hope to rebuild. These men are remnants of a line loyal to the cause of the last emperor, Constantine XI. Who leads them now, however? I cannot say. Capisco. I suppose it is up to me to find out. It's your... Where is your hook blade? What's a hook blade? My hook blade. You've never seen one? I grew up using these. <laughs> Have a spare. <laughs> Hmm. Show me how it works. Perform every hookable hook blade move successfully at least once. Yosef. So it's basically a little extender. Potentially. There's a, like, make sure that you get your climbing done a bit easier. As an extension of yourself, Ezio. Ah, nice. Makes climbing a bit easier. My friend pushed me off the building. A bit old to be living about, no? yeah. Game won't even look. I can't die. I'm Ezio. What even are you? A pinwheel? Why is a pinwheel the collectible? Oh, Animus Fragment. Christ. They're just throwing data fragments at me. You think I cannot make this one? Didn't break a sweat. <laughs> ah, so there's the game. Why? Ah oh, yes, thing that you would want to actually do, how about no? Very nice. Very nice. Data fragment, because they're just putting data fragments out like candy. But yeah, this hook blade is very nice, and they give it to you super early. Also, the kind of neutral exploration music that's playing is quite nice. Watch and learn, Ezio. We call this a hook and run. So you can just tumble over people. And just as you reach him, use the hook blade to slip I think by. you could do that without the hook blade. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Ah, I have to hold it. Very interesting. I don't think I'll ever really use that too much. The standard Ottoman hook blade has two parts, you see. The hook and the blade. So you can use one or the other. An elegant design. How about the bigger challenge? Climb tower and win. Va bene, 
Let's go. Climb the tower in under 60 seconds. Etsy is now a proud over owner of an Ottoman hook blade and needs a bit of training to master it. Training Yusuf is more than happy to provide. This is probably part of my time and stealing away my time. Having fun? But yeah, the hook blade is That's a right. Let the hook blade nice the addition. Work. Very sleek and elegant indeed, my friend. Throw yourself into it. Throw yourself into the hook. Climb ever faster. I must climb faster. So far, all of the additions have been really good. Welcome to Constantinia, Ezio. The crossroads of the world. Nice the overlook. The of men have ruled the city, but they have never subdued her. She always bounces back. It seems a fine place to call home. It is. <laughs> Race you to the bottom. But first. Synchronize. Oh, yeah. they I forgot. They changed it from triangle to pressing down the, the stick. It's going to be a while before I get used to that, I think. I'm impressed, Yusuf. My brothers in Roma would like this. Just give credit where it is due. Yusuf, Chabuk Puri again! An attack on two fronts, Galata and the Grand Bazaar. Every day, the same bad news. How is your appetite for swordplay? I do what I must. Good man. Alright. Perform a zipline assassination. Neat. Luckily, it seems that they're setting you up for this, and again, it's something that you actively do and not a fail state, so I like. Stalkers or Templars since a stalk can kill you when you least expect to find and kill them before they kill you. Yeesh. When he tires of running, an assassin must take to the air. Watch. And a data fragment, I see you. But yeah, so far, this is a majestic opening to this game. Kill that Templar. A Templar scout. And another there. Watch this. Don't you dare take my assassination. I need him for the objective. Hilarious. Die! Utterly magical. Technically a fail state, but... <laughs> Time to part company. I'll head to the bazaar. You stay here. Do you see that tower? Defend it with your life. See. The Galata Dane. Evet. I can't be in two places at once, but with you here, I don't have to be. Hi there, Ascale. But yeah, this is a really nice opening to the game. You are not allowed. Too bad. I am allowed up here now. But yeah, for a moment I was just like... Like, what are those orange dots? Are they treasure chests? No, they are guards. They are very much guards. Yeah, hook blades, zip lines, sub weapons. Very nice all around. Assassin, speak to me. 
He went to the An other place. The city demands his attention. What is our situation? We beat back the vanguard, but they are sure to send more troops. Are your men ready for another fight? They are now. The Templars are preparing to attack the Galata Assassin Den. Lead your fellow assassins in its defense. What, is this going to be an RTS? Or is it just going to be a fight? Because I do remember, like, a defense minigame. Den defense! It is a minigame. Templars have launched an attack on one of your dens. The den and surrounding areas are now contested. Go to your den, defend it, and repel the attackers. It's like a Payday 2 hideout raid. We had time to set up all of this barricade. And the fog. Defending units. Place a leader. Aha. Take your stand there. Had a defending unit, press R1. Defend that area. Make your stand there. Make your stand there. So it's like a mini tower defense. Oh, I could move the cursor the entire time. I can loot? Interesting. Barricade. Barricades can be placed in the street. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Place the barricade. I need you to hold that point. Hold that point for me. Make your stand there. So very interesting. I kind of like this. Also, I somehow uh, got ammo for my gun. Unlock another rooftop. I think I already did that. Oh no, did I break the game? I think I bricked... Oh no, it's just... I did the thing again. I pressed the wrong button. I will recall Assassin. So that I can then pull... Ah, there we go. Secure that point. Riflemen are strong against armored units. I need you to hold that point. Make your stand there. But yeah, very interesting and interesting, interesting. Fight me! Need to actually make good use of the cannon. Hold that point. 
Defend that area. Make your stand there. Make your stand there. Yeah, I kind of like this. You could just have an obscene amount of assassins at my beck and call. <laughs> Instant death, they all start to run. Make your stand there. Hold there. <laughs> and I like how the first wave is already beginning to retreat and these guys don't seem to care. But very fun. Ah, oh, they're gonna bring a ram, are they? How can these Byzantine guys bring out a frickin' war ram through the city? Get it! It's trying to attack my beloved barricade. We lost a few assassins there. But hey, if I was probably a bit better and had like, I should have set up a scapegoat barricade for it to attack. I'm fool. Interesting. So I needed to lose... I guess... I don't know. I just need to do better, but interesting. I got items and Assassin Princess's experience. New units, Air Assassins. Am I gonna have Leonardo da Vinci flying machine assassins on my side? You know, that would explain how some of my assassins get to where they get. Bomb men use thunder bombs for ranged attacks. I guess that's an assassin I can get. Or go up against. Can block grabs. They're going way too fast. So it's like use the hook grab to get past them, I guess. Send word if the Templars regroup. I will be with Yusuf at the Grand Bazaar Den. Take a ferry across the Harich. It's the fastest way to the peninsula. Doesn't even say thank you. Va bene. I got my gun back, though. And this is a tower I can climb. Dang it, Gabe! So yeah, it's kind of neat to see a... Maybe not, like, one-to-one. -one, like, Assassin's Creed 1 look to things, but it feels reminiscent of Assassin's Creed 1. Which I appreciate. But like, and, and not in a weird way, like some of Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood were trying to be. But a nice way. So I'm going to be buying more places, it seems. Guess I could see if I can do that. Is there a, b a library? A bookshop. A bookshop? Empty faction building. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the viewpoints, because why not, I guess? After we check out and see if a... Uh, 1,000 whatever the hells is enough to buy a bank. Is this enough for a bank? It is! Renovate the bank! Shoot or speak. 
I know it's because it's a diddly d, but still kind of hilarious. Alright. But now we will head to the faction building. Faction. Or not faction building. Lookout point, lookout point, synchronize, synchronize, and then head to the ferry. Nice colorful clothing on everybody. I appreciate that. After a lot of Assassin's Creed like Brotherhood into the colors are kind of muted. And again, the exploration music. Super nice. I wonder if I'll be able to get a crossbow. Because my crossbow is nice. Ah, I didn't expect him to actually grab that. I appreciate that. We scared the thieves. That's no, that just means that we did a good job. How much does a bookstore cost? 800. We don't have enough money. Who would have thought that opening a bank is about as expensive as opening a bookstore? Why are you here? I don't know. Why are you here? Why are you alive? Who gave you right to exist, little man? Oh yeah, I forgot. We're gonna have to be on the lookout for uh, Templar stalkers. Why does this feel like a bootleg uh, Rosa and Fiora? Just the way that uh, the Diddly D is right outside this place, and it's kind of a decent big, big boy. Synchronize! I just like to synchronize if all the places that I can. Even though that one didn't really seem to add much. It is at the waterfront. But yeah, so far, Assassin's Creed Revelations, aside from the cart ride, the cart fight, Drop your bread. Or pottery or whatever. It looked like bread. But yeah, so far the opening has been really nice. Cart fight aside. The cart fight was ass. I almost... Sh I'm so used to it being... I'm so used to uh, talking to people be, uh, being the triangle button but I almost shot the tailor in the face. I'm sorry, Your Honor. My contextual buttons were different than last time I shopped. I didn't kill him, my controller did. But yeah, so far... Everything has been nice. Even the 100% synchronization hasn't been terrible. Even if I had to grind the hay bale kills. So maybe this will be on track to be my favorite Assassin's Creed game that I've played so far. All you have to do is limit wonkiness on the... Oh. Odd. Limit wonkiness on the free-running parkour. And then... Have the 100% synchronization not be terrible. And then have the story be interesting. So far, the story is on track to be... At least a bit more motivated than Brotherhood was. Brotherhood was, I am all done and going to retire. Psych, the Borgia family is still here and killed Mario. Like, again, it honestly feels like uh, Brotherhood was just setting up this game. And didn't really have much to its own. Like, obviously it had more to its own. But it's what it felt like. Uh? 
You are a bad guard. Excuse me. Knife. Sure, I'm killing guards, but they've never been nice to me before. Granted, they'll also fight the Templars. That's a nice change of pace. The Templar and the Town Guard aren't the same people anymore. Guess it just goes to show the state of Rome and Italy. I'm too lazy to walk. Fair... Box. Give me the box. Lamb's blood. Now, take me across. Do not create any conflict in the Imperial North District. So no fighting and no getting into uh, anger matches. Ezio, come meet my new friends. I thought I wasn't supposed to create conflict. Death to you. Granted, it does change the sword fighting a bit. You fight like a man late for his own wedding. See, si. by about 25 years. I was too late to save the bazaar then, unfortunately. But now that my army has doubled in size, we'll take it back together. This way. Just don't get into any fights. When the Templars take control of the district, they flaunt their presence. Hanging banners, extorting the merchants, it's a constant battle to keep them at bay. And they rub our noses in every victory. They are quite bold. Why does the Sultan tolerate this? Priorities? Sultan Bayezid is far away, Ezio. Warring with his son Selim, many Fersa northwest of the city. He has been away for years, at least since the Yeesh. Earthquake. And maybe even before. <laughs> he is blind to all this turmoil. Ah, but your eyes are open, see? Hem de foul, Tashigiri. Believe it. I like that saying, like two full moons. I think we're gonna steal it. That is honestly a good saying. That is inspiring. He's selling rugs. A man selling rugs. Too many to engage directly. Uh, I am not confident a smoke bomb will help us here. It's not a smoke bomb. <laughs> it's you. It's time you Italians joined the 16th century. These do not obscure. They distract. So it's a sound bomb. It's a firecracker. You see? They can't resist. Let's move. You are full of surprises today. Crafting explosives is a new hobby. One we borrowed from the Chinese and have taken to with great passion. You will have to teach me. Uh, who is the mentor here, Ezio? I'm beginning to wonder. I've killed a bunch of Borgia. I can teach you how to kill a man. But when it comes to fancy gadgets, uh, I left that to uh, Leonardo. That a shiny door. Can I buy a door? I could probably buy a door. We want to avoid a bunch of conflict. Give it a shot yourself, Ezio. Your Make me proud. We. And the guards like hear a loud noise and they don't bother to use their eyes. You could probably stand right in front of a guard and throw it right in <laughs> away. And they'd be like, oh my god, it's them. I, it's not my fault. I thought he was going to go right there, but fine. Climbing is illegal. Speak for yourself, little man. 
You know what's illegal? Being alive. Took this, this tower. Is another of our many dens, taken by Templars, as you can see. Somewhere among this rabble is a Templar captain. Kill him, then climb the tower and light their signal fire. This Just like the Borgia. <laughs> that it is time to pack up and go. Bene, you create a distraction. I will send them home. That guy was no longer distracted by the time you killed him. Nice introduction. So they're killing all the archers. Tell me where the captain man is, so that I might kill him. Marksmen attack from stations that protect them from melee attacks. You can eliminate them using ranged or bombs. Whenever the Templars commandeer one of our dens, they leave a captain in charge. Search the area carefully, and you might see him strutting about like a peacock. Oh, I can't actually walk onto him from any distance. Hmm. Too far away. Can't assassinate him from here. I wonder if I could use my gun on him. No, not him. Assassinate. Get him! I don't want to die. Well, that's annoying. Do they have a proper checkpoint system now? No, they do not. Well, let's just hope that the diddly de also kind of annoying that it seems that that wasn't really set up properly because oh, it's almost like he is meant to exist like that, but then he still counts towards the failing of the objective, which is stupid, if you ask me. And basically I'll look up how the synchronization is handled in this game, and depending on the answer, I will either go hard in specific situations trying to get synchronization, like if it's similar to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Like if it's like Brotherhood and you get special goodies for completing it a certain percentage, then I will go to that percentage. But I will try not to get hung up on synchronization anymore. It'll be a fight, because my brain automatically goes, eh, it is bad. Interesting. They don't auto-jump anymore. Die. Die, mortal. My knee in your face, your money in my pocket. Water all around us. I'm seeing very strange activity in the Animus. Oh? The CPU should be fairly idle, 
but the system monitor is spiking regularly, sometimes as high as 85%. Maybe is Desmond it is using I'm it. I'm not sure. Desmond's signs are stable. Well, if there isn't a problem, let's not try to fix anything. Fair enough. God, I need a drink. Not while you're on monitoring duty. Sixteen? He's too busy playing cat and mouse. Desmond, think about this. <laughs> He's on the ground for some reason. I went with you. That'd be interesting. With me? Where? It could work. Just for a while. Until I found a way out. Another body, maybe, or a... I don't know. He wants out of here, man. I just... He suffered enough. I don't want to be here anymore. That's... That's not going to happen. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> yeah, I guess I had my chance. <laughs> and I wasted it. I find it kind of funny that 16 is just kind of thrown in there. A little suddenly. Were well, they close? Desmond and Lucy. I mean, closer than friends. Uh, well, there was the occasional misty-eyed moment, but... Uh... She liked him, Bill. That's what she told me. Hmm. Interesting. That's it? Just interesting? Bill sounds weird. A lot of time training each other when they were younger. She was a remarkable woman. I just find this whole situation quite sad. Sad? Are you finally getting soft on us, Bill? I do find it kind of interesting that we can hear into the real world. Normally, we have to be like tapped in. Old Istanbul by the Turks has welcomed me as one of its own. They assassins here. Led by an affable fighter named Yusuf. Yusuf. Great pride in their city. My brain wants to autocorrect that to Yusuf for some reason. But it is a troubled city too. A rebellious faction of Byzantine Templars still fights to retain influence. And their recent attacks have delayed my search for the Masyaf keys. But this will not last. As soon as I am able, I will begin looking for Nicolo Polo's former trading post. In search of clues that will bring me nearer to the Master of Keys. I do like that he is writing to Claudia. I don't know, it's just a nice little detail. I wonder how many sequences there are in this one. I wouldn't mind if they cut down on the overall length. Maybe if just gutting a few side quests. Please don't establish like on oh, this is the leader of the mercenaries of Istanbul. How do we do. We have won the day and recovered that den. But we lost a few friends in this fight. So much death for so little gain. You have some experience recruiting new assassins. Do you? We lost friends. Go make some new ones. More than a little. The people here are quite sick of these Templar attacks. Can you turn on your charms and find us a few more recruits? See, si. but these den will not do for training them. Not this soon. A good point. Speak with one of my men in Galata after you are finished. He can help you begin their training. I also like that they're just going right into it. With the recruitment and assassinating. Oh no. Thief assignment. Pierrea? Hidden tomb. Oh god, it's almost like the entire city's already opened up to me. I don't know what a Pierrea is. Brrr. Memory start. Well. Guess I can check out the thief assignment. <laughs> New items unlocked at bookshops. I don't even know what bookshops 
do. Who are the thieves? What must I do? Arkadashian, you look distracted. Quite. I have a lot on my mind. Someone in this district is funding a campaign to get All right, us so we don't get introduced to them. We're just like already acquainted and we can we'll do assignments for them. to Ottoman guards, tipping them off to our actions. We do not want a conflict with our hosts, but we are not keen to surrender to them either. Do you have an idea where this money is coming from? I hope to find out today. Would you care to aid me? I will make it worth your while. Thieving has grown more difficult due to an increase in snitching. Bait a snitch into leading you to the source of the money, funding him, then eliminate and loot of the source. Using a thief group, lure the benefactor from his security zone before killing him. Nice. Let's see, how can I help? We know that the Ottomans were paid a large bribe today. We are going to steal it. Once that happens, someone is sure to send an urgent message back to the money source. Follow the messenger, <coughs> and we will have our man. Seems like a nice mission. Don't know why there has to be a door there if you're just going to take the doorway. Choose your path, my dude. Silly little man. I do like the designs of the NPCs. They vary a lot from Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood. I appreciate that. Lure them away. Can't go killing them, can we? <laughs> they just run up and take their money. Oh. I can't... Wow, that was fast. A little... Game, 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 please. A little odd. Kind of funny that I instantly locked on to the... the snitch. I wonder how often they look back in this game. They looked back a lot in... In Brotherhood. Now that I am no longer under Stuart House arrest and can run my business again. Also, it's kind of nice to be out of uh, Italy. Oh, sure, Rome, technically ish, not Italy, but eh. <laughs> you can just tap high profile to bring down scaffolding. No longer do you need to throw people into it. Why are you so afraid, little man? Are you afraid of being tailed? Well, you should be. Small man. Baby man. doing here? I told you to keep an eye on those soldiers. They were stolen from. Forgive me, Halim Bey, but thieves have stolen the bribe. What? How did they know? I am not sure. 
If our contacts in the Ottoman ranks do not get their money, we do not keep our special relationship intact. Special relationship. But what could I do? Die. Nothing, obviously. You're just a worm. Now get out of my face. So now I'll need to lure him away. It is an insult that I should pay so much to gain so little. So, what's the bonus thing again? Using a thief group, lure the benefactor from a security zone before killing him. I'm gonna have to rebuy a thief group. Keep your eyes open for those sneaky thieves. They may be coming for us next. Lure him away. I don't know how you'll lure him, but then I'll kill him. Perhaps my informant is not so crooked as he needs to be. We will not be using him again. Great, he's going the wrong way. It's not my fault that my thief went the wrong bloody direction. Maybe I should have uh, done it a different way, but I'd... That just feels odd and clunky. Lure him out, but by the way, he's gonna run away from you. Probably should have climbed a different building. Keep your eyes open for those sneaky thieves. They may be coming for us next. Maybe it's Maybelline. Ah, we still keep that. Neat. Be gone, armor man. Now I shall loot everyone. And I can get crafting materials from these dead bodies. Robbing the dead is abominable corruption. Eh, they're not really dead. They're just pretending. You got away with the money? Evet, about half of it. The rest we distributed to the people. <laughs> it keeps them honest. That's funny. Just make sure you do not turn into the criminals you are fighting. Point taken. Why don't you stick around and keep us in line? I will call on you when I need a favor. You can count on that. That was a fun side quest. Actually made use of the thieves. Uh, there is a hidden tome. We'll go to the, uh, viewpoint. And, uh, well, actually, we'll buy a bookstore, go to viewpoint, and then I guess we'll check out the hidden tomb. <laughs> yes, 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 Ezio is old, but he is still a good man. You are alone. I need to get into the Grand Bazaar. Into the Grand Bazaar I am. I will buy a bookstore so that I can then peruse their wares. Wonder what is in a bookstore. Is this where I get maps now? I can buy books. I can buy the Odyssey. I can buy the Aeneid. Don't know that. Geography. The History of Kings. I guess, sure. I will buy some books. Why not? 
And yeah, I can also buy all treasure maps. Apparently I need money. Lots of money for some of these. Amusing. I don't know what the books are for, but uh, boy howdy, I have books. Now we'll go. Why are you fighting me now? Again, that is just so brutal. Oh no, they can they can kick me back now. They have learned to kick me back. And now I'll loot their bodies for fun and profit. I, don't, I guess they saw me pickpocket, and they're like, hey, don't do that. But then they decided to go kill him. I do not understand these guards. They are foreign to me. Their cruelties are different. Than the ones back in Rome. But yeah, the hook blade is a nice addition so far. All right, I guess I hit <laughs> that. Uh, uh, it's floating. No wonder it knocked me off the roof. It's obviously possessed. Oh, hey, data fragment. Most entertaining, a man who's climbing a building. Ah, great. We're back to uh, all the climbing has to be ever so slightly a puzzle. Unless you get to a good point, then you can just do this over and over again. Then they intentionally put parts that are like, nope, 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 you can't do that. No fast, fast climbing for you. We can only let you fast climb a little bit. If you fast climb too fast, then it's almost like you're not climbing anymore. They added stars in the little holes to this place. I like that. And I guess let's do a tomb. I don't know what the tombs in this place will be like, but... Boy, howdy, they can might be tombs. Black market dealer. Interesting. Caca, motherfuckers. If only Mythbusters did an episode on throwing somebody into a bale of hay and they used an actual person. For authenticity. I will invade someone's home. Interesting. We actually are kind of invading somebody's home. Would be amusing. I turn around and suddenly there's somebody there watching me. Oh, I can interact. Vladim Paler's prison?! All right. Are we going to be fighting Dracula? So it's not even the tomb itself. It is just, heck, like, hey. Now you know where a tomb is. What the fuck is that? Romani HQ. All right, so... Interesting. I guess I'll check out what this is. Since it's on the way to the memory anyway. Will I unlock bombs? Different kinds of bombs. All the bombs. 
All the boom, boom, booms. City events. Systemic events might occur as you walk around. Like that dot. Is it that dot or is that a bomb? I think that might be a bomb. Fight me. So this is just a city event. Fight me harder. Fight harder. I got tripwire. So that is what it meant by systemic events. You just walk around town. You might see a black dot that's hard to see. Again, you can't really see uh, because of my avatar in front of the minimap. There's not really a good place to put my avatar when it comes to the Assassin's Creed games. But the minimap went from white to kind of more dark. So, having a black dot on a dark minimap for random events is a bit mean. Knock knock, it is me, Home Invader. I speak to you. Uh, apparently for buying. Very expensive. Meanwhile, you do not buy very expensive, it seems. Apparently lamb's blood is decently expensive. But I will be keeping these. Interesting. So you're... Who are you, or what are you? Is it just a title? Oh no, it is an actual guy. But... <laughs> it's just a guy. He has a name, we don't even talk. Maybe I... I don't know. Okay, sure. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, so far, very interesting. I guess I, maybe I could go and to the Templar Den, but let's do this mission. You're, a, you're an existing NPC. All of you annoy me. They still keep the wonky just bought camera, which is a little annoying, but oh well. Say la vie. <laughs> the way that the scream cut off amuses me. Apparently, everyone's screams get cut off. Uh, that's not what I wanted, but we're here now. We are here now. And apparently all the guards are coming. And just more and more are coming my way. I just realized, it seems that they got rid of the... Like, uh... The flyers, that, the wanted posters, they got rid of those. You're looting a body, therefore you're a heretic. He has guards. Neat. Why are you here? 
Well, that's not what I want. Oh, he actually fights? Never mind, he's dead. They fight, but <laughs> I just stabbed him. That is an amusing line. You deserve to meet your... <laughs> oh, that's... I guess it's... I guess it balances out. Bribes only take away what once were the uh, the wanted posters, but they are a fifth cheaper. They're half as good, but half as good, but a fifth as expensive. So. <laughs> that, that that laugh. <laughs> yes, very nice. After he got bribed twice. Uh, hello, why are you in a cage? Are you a compassionate man, Athenian? Can you help me? That I stole fruit from a vendor, I will not deny. But only because my hunger has trumped my honesty. Bring me the key to these chains, and I will repay you tenfold. You mean cage? A man has been arrested for stealing food. Show some mercy. Pickpocket the guard to retrieve the key. Wait right here. <laughs> Obviously. And the guards respond. They're quick to clean up, at least. My knife should have gone through the wall. Good night. As I do a little jig. Do a little dance. Get down tonight. That reminds me of... Apparently... Oh, the Romani. So there seems to be a... Like, maybe that's my... Oh, no, that's my target. Then who the fuck are you? Also, uh, a little annoying that the game is like, Hey, uh, pickpocket off him. Pickpocket? It's in a restricted zone. Oh, wait. Maybe it's not a restricted zone? It's not a restricted zone. It is just a... diddly D. Oh, but he's still he's still angry. He is still angry, so this is kind of is a restricted zone. I wonder if I can pickpocket and then kill him. But who's this guy? Very rude game. And it seems like that guy also despawned <laughs> Nope, okay, the guy's still there. So that can go faster. Interesting. But I'm doing a side quest game. How dare you do multiple spawnings of things? I feel like that shouldn't happen. <laughs> Again, I don't like that it's like, oh, this is a restricted area, but it's not a restricted area. If it's a restricted area, have a restricted area thing. And now that guy's probably not going to be there anymore. Because the game is mean. And also had the guy have a specific uh, patrol pattern. 
Only to then change. Specifically to send him right at me, because the game's a dick. Good night. Yep, the guy despawned, because game's dick. You saw nothing, little man. I do kind of find it funny that there's like two different guard types now. Which is slightly amusing. Again, annoying that they're like, hey, random event thing. But by the way, we're not going to let you do the random event thing because we spawned him right on top of a quest. Why do that? Who does that? I feel like that shouldn't be able to happen. That they should be able to go like, hey, should we subject our players to this? Maybe he spawned in as a random event before? Like, the quest itself started? I don't know. I was over in that general area. I will return to the merchant I robbed and show him the same kindness. After you have cleared your conscience, amigo. Consider joining our cause. To be an honest man, one needs honest work. I would be honored. Saul. A very nice mission, if it weren't for the fact that the, uh... Like, guy was activated and then the game was just like... <laughs> That just feels a little odd. Well, let's uh, take a ferry over, I guess, and then we'll do one more mission, depending on the length of that mission. Wait, there's a safe citizen? Oh no, that's just a tutorial, I guess. But none appear so far, so diddly. Thief faction challenge is unlocked. Romani faction challenges unlocked. And then assassin factions. What, no mercenary? Nah, there's the mercenary. But good on them for using the Romani... Uh... Like, name instead of the... Slur... That everybody knows, thanks to Hunchback of Notre Dame. But... I do think that the way that the Romani replaced the courtesan... Oh, hey, you don't hate me? Nice. That guy was chill. He gets to live. But yeah, it's a little squicky that... The Romani are the courtesans for this game. Ever so slightly. Then again, I don't think that they could have used Romani for any... Th like, if they used them for thieves... <laughs> I think that would be even worse. Why couldn't they be the mercenaries? Or, uh, I don't know. Again, just like, ooh, the sexy dancers that distract the guards is a uh, little unfortunate usage there. Not as bad as if they tried to make them the thieves at least, so it could be worse. It's not as bad as it could have been. And for that, I guess they get a tip of the hat and for proper uh, verbiage. Hello, blacksmith. How be your anvil? Come, look at my craftsman. 
That is a very good craftsman. I'd like to buy one for my own. Oh, did you cry some ball? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I guess they realized people really like it, huh? Take it away from them. People like it. They don't get to have it no more. Again, could be worse. The magical vortex will tell me what to do. One of your assassins has gained enough experience to lead one of your assassin dens. Den leaders can progress to the rank of master assassin after performing unique missions with you. Once assigned as a den leader, the assassin will be linked permanently to that den, so choose wisely. Well, I think that he was, uh, he's made for this, so we're gonna make him that den leader. Alright. I climbed the books and then fell. Use your signalist at least once. The This apprentice is uh, concerned about some suspicious activity in the district. Yes, Pong block of loading. Yes, we are indeed loading. Mentor, we have a problem. A great many assassins have disappeared in recent months, and I believe I know why. Disappeared? Do you mean they have been killed? No body has been found. I fear so, but there is no time to explain. Hide in the park west of here, and wait for me to arrive. You shall see for yourself. Very well, and then I use my assassin signal. At least once during this. I could probably use it on a random guard and it will work. <laughs> you know it would be hilarious if the beggars could just like... Super speed run you down and shove you to the ground. Give us money. Again, it could be worse. It's just a little unfortunate usage. Again, not as bad as if they decided to use them for thieves. But I don't know. There's just a... Uh, feels unfortunate. I wish I had, like, super lock-on. Your assassins get experience each time you use them. Nice. So what did you find that you had to hide in hay bale? That's a dead body. Ah, uh, yes. How about suspicious like a dead assassin body? So is what? Is there an assassin assassin about? So maybe he didn't come down here. Ah. I do not like the look of this. Oh, uh, yeah, I already found that one, game. Oh, so let me guess. Is this... Uh... Oh, man. Che oh, is this uh, an introduction to... Run with such speed. We run with that speed. But is this an introduction to the Templar assassins? 
the Templar's assassin assassins. See, if, if our assassin dudes could do this all the time, that would be amazing. Oh, the hook assassination is amazing. Are you injured? My pride is wounded, and now my heart is heavy. That man, his name is Vari. He was an assassin once. He has obvious skill and a score to settle. Evet. Until that man is caught or killed, I fear none of us will be safe in this city. And until you are properly trained, I will not let you go head to head with a killer as deadly as this man. Let us focus on further honing your skills first. Ah, pigeon boxes. That was a nice mission, too. <laughs> Mediterranean defense. The Mediterranean defense feature allows you to send assassins to perform mission in cities throughout the Mediterranean region. You can undermine the Templars by freeing these cities from their influence. When a city has been reclaimed, the assassins will establish a permanent presence there. This will unlock options to help develop it and make it prosper. Templar agents, however, will attempt to retake their lost cities and may even launch a massive attack if you are not careful to maintain your influence over the city. Bursa, Templar Crew. <laughs> one contract available. Only one available. The Little Prince. They know what I want out of this. This will lower, give us a bunch of experience. And a bit of money. Go out and kill. Oh, crafting table. For my arts and crafts, but I can't use it. Sadness. Wait, what's that? Ow. Animus data fragments are actually put on this place? Neat. Alright, but we'll head over here. I guess try this to unlock another assassin. But yeah, interesting that it's like, hey, there's a data fragment here. Uh, kind of like the flags from uh, the last game, so I very much like that. I like that they kept that feature. So far, this game has been, uh, very cool. Not many, like, super complaints. And again, now that uh, Brotherhood was the scapegoat of, my god, why do the synchronization 100% dealies have to eat my soul? Now that that's kind of, like, been taken over by them and I learned my lesson of, alright, then I won't care as much about this as it... <laughs> From the way they're designed, it's like, you don't want me to. I will take that to heart, game. Ah, my damage. It's like, I want to care about the 100% challenges. But... I learned from Brotherhood, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. I should not care about the challenges. That is a way that leads to madness. Which is kind of a, a very bad thing when I have to say caring about the game is a bad thing. Because if I care about the challenges and the challenges are poorly designed, that makes me hate everything. Especially when there's something cool locked behind those challenges. Maybe I can use my assassin child to kill the captain. Mercenary, 
Alright, interesting. I might have to actually go down to see him, maybe. Ah, as he's on the move, I think. Again, the guards are, like, very aware. So not entirely. Maybe. It's a possible. But at the same time, a probably not, because they're just standing there. It's neat that you can actually, like, see the... way that the guards seem to go. Uh, those two are... glowing. Oh crap. Get down. Ah, it's determining which one is actually the Templar that I need to kill. Alright, interesting. Only some of them can potentially be. I like that. Open this strangely looking box. Caltrops. For when you want to murder feet. I kind of like how this is set up. Like having to actually hunt down and look for the Templar leader for this area is like uh, involved. Like it makes you actually get into the, it's kind of like a da da da. Almost a spiritual successor to the Assassin's Creed 1 a bit. It just feels like, a, ooh, actually look for him. Find him. It's on a smaller scale. But I like it. Give me your knives. I might need them for the days to come. Haha! -ha. Some guys! Wait. Kill him! And now, I loot the corpse. He has a lot of money on him and he's dead and also a Templar. That's a... I like that. I like the way that works. Run, my assassin brother. My assassin bro dude. Kind of rude, because there are Templars right there, probably looking at me. But yeah, this also feels like a slight refinement. 
Because they like you have to find them, and then it kind of tells you, oh, if he sees you, he will run to escape. <coughs> Excuse me. Because he said he was a coward, kill him before he escapes. Very neat. Oh, and then I can also, I forgot, ignite. Get out of here, Templars. This now belongs to me. This is my home now. Get out of here. And there's a savior thing. A pickpocket has been having a bit of fun today. Identify and speak with her. Hey, pickpocket. <clears throat> Try not to spend all of that money in one place. What money would that be? Signora, I know a pickpocket when I see one. Your technique is good, but not flawless. Not impeccable. Not so. Until today, I have never been caught or called out. Let me show you a few tricks. I need no instruction, and I can prove it. Give me one minute, and I will steal more than you could in a day. Bene. Begin. So now I need to fight her in a competition. Oh. Need to get away. Need to be careful because the guards are there and they will gladly eat me. Let me steal from you. Betrayer. The guard are very on point when it comes to catching pickpockets, though. There's a box in there. I need it. Please stop. <laughs> Please stop. I don't know what's in this box, but it's going to be mine now. I don't know why the guards are guarding impact shells. Like, maybe it's a merchant box? But again, don't know why those guards would be guarding them. Curse these misers. None of them are carrying any Aksha today. Aksha. Well, my take was quite good. Are you having an off day? Do not patronize me. I am a skilled thief. You saw it yourself. So let me hone your skills. And I would be grateful if you joined the assassins to put those talents to better use. Hmm. I suppose I should, eh? I cannot live off the fruits of others forever. I do like these recruitment missions. They're a bit more in-depth, but they are very, like, uh, quick. Hey, eh? That's a grab. That's a grabable. Why can I not grab? Ah, but now we're back to this. Yes, fight, lady! <laughs> I love that the screams get cut off! You are not alone, Arkadashim. And you need not be afraid. Let me repay your kindness with action. Ah, oh, what? No, the liberation of Roma has begun. <laughs> the liberation of Roma has begun. But we're in Constantinople. The liberation of Roma has begun.
Do not talk back to me. The liberation of Roma has begun. I wonder if somebody's made a mod that replaces whatever he says when saving a citizen like that with the liberation of Roma has begun. It would be dumb. It would be stupid. It would be even lesser if I <laughs> throw a bomb at them. Here. But I wanted to throw money at you! How dare you! I was going to give you money! And then you ran away! I wanted to be generous with my money! Instead you forced me to be generous with my fists! And feet. Any damage? Not that I can see. Byzantine Templars may be bad hosts, but are decent tenants. Once they capture a location, they like to keep it intact. Because they intend to stay. Kessimintle. Well, as promised, if you want to learn how to craft your own bombs... Oh, uh, that's why I couldn't I craft before. I, I didn't get to this point. Uh, 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 don't touch that. One wrong move and bang, the building comes down. Are you serious? No. <laughs> Look on your face. <laughs> Here. I'll show you. I like Yusuf. He's a funny little man. The assassins now have control of the Imperial North Din. And he's at ease. Make bombs with him. You can make impact shell, fuse shell, trip wire, sticky pouch, detura bomb... Smoke screen, cherry bomb, thunder bomb, splinter bomb, smoke decoy, caltro bomb, gold bomb, blood bomb, and stink bomb. So that's just like, I guess, the codex, yeah. Okay. Oh, because I was trying to interact with this and the game was like, yeah, no. Okay, that was weird. I don't know why it threw me in there when I wanted to get that. So I accidentally read the book about the different bombs and stuff. Okay, that makes sense. We craft our bombs from a combination of three parts. The shell, the gunpowder, and the primary ingredient. Sometimes we add a few extras too, for fun. But we'll come to that later. For now, focus on these elements. Test bomb. I throw bombs. I throw bombs. All bombs. All day. Ah, so it actually shows you where it will bounce. Interesting. I like. Craft bomb. You'll find many ingredients for bomb recipes scattered throughout the city. So keep your eyes open and your nose to the ground as you move about. That should keep me busy. Grazie, Yusuf. Have you ever seen this book? Uh, no. It's a journal. To opening Altair's diddly by Nicolo Polo. I was wondering. <laughs> found this on a Templar My brain forgot the name Marco. Mentions the five keys to Altair's library. Nicolo brought them here and hid them. Ah, and the Templars know this, so it's a race against. Time. And they even already have one. They found one already beneath Topkapo. 
I want to recover it and find the other four. So, where will you begin? The old Polo trading post, I think. They ran a business in this area, no? I believe so. Speak with a man named Piri. Ah, so we'll actually find him story wise this time. And teach you a few more bomb recipes, if you are so inclined. Recruit leveled up. New recruit. Assassin Signal awarded. You have been awarded a new Assassin Signal. A new signal is awarded at for the first, fourth, and sixth recruit. You just recruit a new potential assassin. A new potential assassin. A new potential. I'm just getting lots of assassins. So I don't have. I thought I did have a level ten assassin. Alexandria. The memory seals. So yeah, definitely can't send them there. Going to assume that this is also too hard. Oh no. Ah, but they're not good enough. It would take all three of them to get through. It would level them up a lot. Ah, uh, well let's see. If I send all of them, they all get a thousand experience. Of which he could really use it, eh, you know. Mm. But that would leave me without any assassins. I can live. It's only... Yeah, for five minutes, I can live. For five minutes? And they're gonna get ex a insane buku? Sure thing, mate. Let's see. But I want to avoid, like, trying to take back Assassin Diddly Dees. Without. I'll do these two, like, viewpoints, and then we'll go do them. Talk to the guy. I will hurt you all, violently, because I am the Assassin Manson, here to murder all. I still don't know why that one guard didn't mind that I was on top of the roofs with him. Maybe they edited the AI a bit and if like there's a certain way to get up there. Ah. I hear sparkles. At least I thought I did. Ah. Here you are, hiding in the bushes. Like a two video game treasure. Don't know why I said it like that. Somebody call my psychiatrist. I don't have one. I do like that they... Expanded to like new territory for this Assassin's Creed game really adds to the eh, It just makes it feel more lively and interesting compared to Brotherhood because I, I still think that Brotherhood is like so far the worst Assassin's Creed game out of the Three that I've played because there was Assassin's Creed 1 which I personally really like, even compared to 2 and Brotherhood. 2 has a few issues. If it weren't for the uh, added-in DLC memories, it would be top tier. And then Brotherhood. Oh, I do not like Brotherhood. Brotherhood hurts my soul. <laughs> I throw money from atop the tower. The coins fall and kill people. After reaching terminal velocity. I do like how much these ones are, like, revealing for the areas. It's quite refreshing. Ah, oh, that's neat. They're just hanging out. Being bros.
It, so the public speaker is saying that people are deserving of a slow, weakening impalement. Or not, it, well, maybe he said impalement. I think he meant impairment. Like, they deserve to suffer while they live. Hello, Data Fragment. I don't know what you're about. Uh, don't know why you would uh, let me grab that if it is not the thing that is meant to be grabbed, you utter fool of a game. We climb. We must climb ever more. For synchronization purposes. Again, it's just very nice to return to... Well, it's not like one-to-one. -one. This is very reminiscent of Assassin's Creed 1 architecture-wise, and I like it. Especially after two games of Italy and Rome. Italy and Rome. Italy and Rome. We Murder from the skies. And since we're over here and I saw that there was a bank that could be bought... Again, the scream's getting cut off. Crim de la crim. Where is the bank? I know the bank exists, you fools. I saw it existing. Is it going the wrong way, I can fool? I don't know why I'm going the wrong way. I thought I was going the right way, but I'm going the wrong way. Down this back alley. Nothing bad happens in back alleys. You might find back allies back there. Your screams amuse me. Scream more, little man. Scream more. Murder. Murder. I buy a bank. Also just realized we can't, like, ride a horse around this place. It makes sense, but after Brotherhood, I just find it amusing. I don't care about that. Once again, why is that tied to the map button? Something that you might click all the while, because you might be like, Ah, oh, I got here finally. I shall go do other thing. And then game is just like Aah! Hmm. That's a tunnel entrance, but uh where are uh assassin box? I would like uh, assassin box. There's Master Assassin Missions, Assassin HQ. So yeah, there's a Thieves HQ, but where's my Assassin's HQ? We were like over here, and now it's gone. You'd think it would also be like on the map of like, oh, you can, uh, like the Pigeon Coop. Do you think that the Pigeon Coop would B. Diddly D. Ah, Stalker is even right there. Shows up on the map. Well, I was gonna send them out on more missions and like stuff, but uh, apparently that doesn't exist. It seemingly does not exist. I'm gonna check again, because I'm just, like, baffled at it not existing. Yeah, it just doesn't exist. Alright.
We will talk to the man who I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Do whatever mission might be tied with him, and then we will end. Uh, well, first, actually, that guy's gonna die. Get him. Kill. They knocked me over. I wanted to get involved just so that my assassins didn't die. Because I don't know what happens when they die, but I don't want to find out. Piri Reyes. I think I have seen some of your earliest work. Reyes? <laughs> Did Yusuf Tazin send you? That sounds like one of his exaggerations. See, si. he said you could show me the location of Nicolo Polo's former trading post. Ah, you must be that Florence he's been yammering on about. Uh, Lothario? <laughs> Ezio. I don't hear the difference. Yes. The old polo show. That's amusing. It's just west of Hagia Sophia. Here. Grazie. Yusuf also mentioned that you were the man to talk to about specialty bombs. Ah, that man. <laughs> he is a talker. A vet. I'm a navigator in the Sultan's Navy. Currently on leave to study cartography. But through my soldiering, I've also gained an appreciation for artillery and explosives. And it has served the assassins well. Love the music that it plays in the background. An edge. I carry many kinds of bombs. For assassins only, of course. Lethal, tactical, diversionary, and a few peculiar casings. Everything you see here is for sale. If you can prove you know how to use it first. I like this guy. I am eager to learn. He's like, I'll sell it to well, you, but I'm not going to give it to an nincompoop. No stopping you. Just let me know. Yeah, we can even utilize his map here. Everybody leveled up a lot. Armor for everybody. Because I don't want you to die. Interesting. I guess you must be the one that I recruited, recruited. And he's still away. Uh, and is apparently a monstrosity of na 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 na. And will be unavailable for an unknown amount of time. Well, that's, uh, disturbing. Huh, apparently that didn't take it down any of their control. Reclaim the city. Hmm. God damn it, they have Jerusalem? Bastards. <laughs> Reclaim the city. Oh, it also costs money to send them. Right? That's what it said. Or at least... not. A, oh, I think you might be able to pay? Or something? It says requirements. So, let's see. So, some of them have requirements. <laughs> eh, might as well send you off to that one's quick as well. Level up all you dudes. But yeah. I like this. Quick introduction missions and stuff. 
But... What the hell? Okay. Uh... I did. Uh, I heard the, st the 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 musical sting, and I was just like, "Wait, why do I hear boss music?" And then when it just like went into an animation, because I saw him coming, and I'm just like, "Oh, okay, I guess I will." And then he grabbed me, and I'm like, "Oh God!" Very interesting. Let's see, do you have anything special about you? Fast acting upgrade. Interesting. And ingredients. Ah, nice. So, yeah. That'll keep me on my toes. I like that. I like that there are assassin assassins, like Templar assassin assassins out to get me. It'll keep me on my toes. A, a little mean that it came at me right as I left. Right as I left a place, but oh well. Okay, now the assassin places are on the map. All right. But I do believe that that will be it for now. We've been going for about three hours. And the game just absolutely went through the tutorials and stuff. I rather liked it. So far... This is a vast improvement over Brotherhood, and the only thing I disliked was the chariot race chase that felt very poorly balanced and kind of superfluous at the end because it's like, f like, destroy him, we're gonna give him a health bar, and then we're like, oh, sorry, you're not actually meant to beat him with that, so we made it impossible while also stacking the odds against you. It just felt odd and weird and off, and I don't like it. But everything else so far has been just lovely. The controls seem decent, more or less the same. The data fragments are a neat collectible. The just jumping right into things, the the additions are just like it's super cool so far. The local guard versus the Byzantine imp Templars, the assassin assassins. Going right into the Brotherhood stuff. Yusuf being an interesting character. Reyes being... <laughs> I like... like He seems cool. So... Yeah. I think that will be it for now. So thank you very much for watching, my dear people. If you want more from me, I am slowly working on creating a video for my main channel, Neon Icy Wings on YouTube. That will hopefully be out before the end of the year. That is my goal. No idea if I will make it because life is bitch. But I have, like, made the little things that I wanted to make for my simple video idea. So it'll hopefully will be able to be done. But at the same time, my brain is a traitor. So who knows? If you want to catch up on my streams, you can watch my... The, 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 the VODs on the channel of YouTube, Neon Icy Games, or even watch me stream from there if you prefer the YouTube streaming experience. If you prefer the Twitch streaming experience, you can follow me at twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. If you want to know when I go live, you can follow me on Twitter where I send out a tweet saying, hey, I'm live right now, and then I delete the tweet once the stream is over so that people aren't confused. And if you want to know slightly ahead of time, I try to have the stream's time and, like, day set kind of, like, a few hours beforehand. So, not really super intuitive on the scheduling. Like, yeah, my brain's just jumping all over the place. But the schedule tab of the Twitch channel, that's where I try to have it up ahead of time a little bit. Sometimes I might delay it an hour or so and stuff, so if you have... 
I try to keep that up to date, at least on the day that I'm streaming. And then if you want to know exactly when I go live, specifically, I do send out a tweet. And then if you want other things from me, like my little avatar in the corner, my art, you can follow me on Twitter, Newgrounds, and Tumblr. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. I'm debating leaving Deviant Art because they did a dumb, they did a big dumb. Like, I might send out more assassins on missions and stuff, but I won't, like, uh, assign them to a den until I stream again and stuff, but bleh. But yeah, a DeviantArt did a dumb, and, like, I don't really trust them all that much right now. So I might not be uploading any new arts to DeviantArt because they are have been very dumb. Very, very dumb, and I question why they are dumb. Question why they are dumb. And all of the places are at 100% Templar control still. Maybe that was something that was, like, one way, and then they changed it. Where once upon a time... You needed to get it all the way down before you could reclaim the city, but now they said fuck it, and then you just reclaim the city when you can. I don't know. Send them out, why not? It's five minutes, who cares? But, yeah. I upload my art to Newgrounds and Twitter at Neon Icy Wings, and then Tumblr at Icy Wings Art Corner, and... I do have a DeviantArt, but I'm not sure if I'll be using it because, again, they did an AI art weirdness, and it's just a bunch of bullshit and stupidity. I for I didn't know that I had so much money already. Yeah. I also might, like, uh, upgrade and do stuff off screen just to save a little bit of time, but big things I will save for actual stream. But I think that's everything. I plugged everything that I exist on. So, yeah. VOD channel is Neon Icy Games on YouTube. I stream on Twitch and YouTube at Neon Icy Wings on Twitch and Neon Icy Games on YouTube. My main YouTube channel, I hope to put stuff on Neon Icy Wings eventually soon by the end of the year. And I upload art to DeviantArt. Well, maybe. That one's up in the air. Tumblr, Newgrounds, and Twitter. Like, even if Twitter's going up in flames, I'm gonna stay there till it dies, because it's big and... It functions for me. I got rid of the trending tab. Eh. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.